So in this question, I'm asked to work out 15% of 160 grams. So instantly here, when I've got a question working with a percentage of a value, I'm instantly thinking that I'm going to be working with multipliers and working with these multipliers in order to find this percentage of this value. So I'm going to be multiplying 160 by a multiplier to work out 15% of it. So if I'm working out 15% of it, 15, I can use the multiplier here of 15% divided by 100. So that's going to give us a multiplier of 0 0.15. So that's basically the same as having 0 0.15 out of 1 is equal to 15 out of 100. So that's 15%. So 15% as a multiplier is 0 0.15. And then I can simply multiply this, so the 0 0.15, by the value of 160 in order to work out 15% of 160. And that's going to give us an answer of 24 grams. Similarly here, if I wanted to go about this in a different way, I could work out 1% of 160 and then multiply this up by 15 in order to get 15%. Sometimes that way might make a bit more sense in your heads, and that's totally fine. So 1% of 160 is going to be 160 divided by 100. And that's going to give us an answer of 1.6. And then we can multiply 1.6 by 15. As this one's equal to 1%, this one's going to be equal to 15%. And that gives us 24 as well. So either way about going about that question is going to get us to the same answer of 24.